So we've just started outcome C, which talks about um, integers. Now, an integer, which we have written right here, um, today's lesson is going to be writing integers. Um, an integer is basically a positive or negative whole number. Um, so, you know, this is kind of new to sixth grade, including the negative numbers in there. Um, but we are not looking at any fractions or decimals, um, just, just whole numbers, um, whether they are positive or negative. Now, when we're writing integers, um, what that means is we're going to be given a sentence, and I need to write the integer, what the numerical value of it would be. Um, so in order to do that, I need to know a couple, like just a handful of words, um, and uh, that tells me, you know, what, is this a negative balance or a positive balance, depending on what it is. Um, so I was just going to run through a, a few words for us real quick. Um, you know, we could just start off with an easy one. I like to always just, uh, relate my, my class um, things to sports. So a negative thing, something that would end up giving me a negative integer would be a loss. And uh, I always like to explain, uh, uh, if uh, we're playing football and a quarterback gets sacked for a three yard loss, okay, well, um, that's a negative yardage. Well, on the opposite side of the spectrum, let's say they hand the ball off to a running back and they, they gain six yards, okay? Well, that would be positive yardage, all right? A loss and a gain. Um, you have a ton of these. Um, if we're talking about below sea level or above sea level, um, that one works. If we're talking about a bank, all right, and I asked you know, my students about uh, if they have a savings account or not, um, you have for a negative, it would be a withdrawal. Withdrawal. And for a positive, it would be a deposit. All right. Um, maybe just uh, one more set. You might want to go with, um, so we have a loss, we have a gain, we have a below, we have above, we have a withdrawal, we have a deposit. Um, you could go something like, um, uh, let's see, let's, we, we can, this is from one of our notes, uh, dove, like I dove into the water. Um, and then after I dove into the water in the swimming pool, I climbed out. So climb. There we go. Um, so those are just a, a couple words. It's not going to be all of them, obviously. We, we know there's a ton of these. So just, just a short list here. Um, and then that's just the words to help me write it. Actually writing is going to give me a problem like this. So for the first one, a deposit of $80. Well, we just learned up there, deposit is a positive number. So for my answer, I'm just gonna write an 80. Um, because we talked about, you know, um, positive numbers are always, um, we don't need to put a sign because we just assume that it's gonna be a positive number. Um, students sometimes like to put the little plus there, that's okay. Um, a loss of three yards, like I said, that's gonna be a negative three. And then a withdrawal of $20, all right, um, that's gonna be a negative 20. And that's all writing integers is. Just writing the number with the, with the sign if it's needed. Remember, positive numbers don't always need the positive sign. But I'm not going to take any points off if they do. It's, I mean, it's technically still correct. 